All right, so I have to create different shapes in uh, in uh, in PowerPoint. So it's quite easy. Let's click on blank here. Now here, blank here, insert. And now I'm gonna just gonna grab this shape, hold shift to stay still, and go back at another one. Now this one, hold the shift. Now this two shapes. So how to combine these shapes in one shape? Well, what you have to do is hold shift, select both of this, and then go to merge shapes. And here you can basically change uh, the shape in a union. Now, instead of two, now there's one shape and you also created a shape which this is what we want now we have a different shape format well now we can uh, hold control here now you have a shape format rotate and flip horizontal now another shape we can create is this one maybe and then select the other one and here merge and union merge union and it created this shape now and that's how you can create different shapes but that's only that's if you use union but if you use combine that's what you get if you use fragmented uh, it's just fragment now there's fragmented shapes so fragmented now they're all fragmented as you can see one, two, created right three pieces. And he also created this shape, if that's what you wanted. And he also created this one and this one. Right? Pretty cool. Now you can even move all the shapes like this. Select all, go to shape. And here you also can create again union. You can, you know, union shapes and uh, you pretty much... Basically, this is like a merge operation. Now you merged all of this and you have this shape. And we also can fragment again or intersect or subtract. And now you have <laughs> this. So yeah, it's uh, that's how you create shapes in, a, in PowerPoint. And uh, another way actually to edit your shape to create the transform this in a different shape is to right click and click on edit points and now you can also edit this shape and uh, pretty cool as well oh yeah well again we have a different shape so can create different types of shapes using this method going in format shape form uh, shape format and using two shapes and then highlighting or three or four as many as we want and then control a to select all go to merge and now we have again different shapes different uh, shapes different uh, formats different yeah so many things look at this one pretty interesting and what's even interesting if if you add all the sh now if you created a shape that you want you can write now right click and uh actually let's go here insert picture stock here i'm gonna add uh, this one insert and now i'm gonna go to crop and here i'm looking actually gonna first think move this crop and I would like to actually move this so it covers this uh, this this shape that I created so I'll move this up a little bit or it can even just go here now here in uh, picture decrease transparency and see I mm, think this will look good.
And now let's increase back the trans decrease the transparency and now click on not here or here sorry let's click on here format shape and we have now this image inside this shape we can uh, remove the outline but add some not reflection actually I would like some shadow and size well actually the transparency now we have shadow and some reflection not nah, really don't need and let's right click format background add some gradient maybe look this looks quite nice and uh, and uh, select for here some presets gradient presets pretty interesting and it's still a shape we still have a shape here so that's a great way to create shapes in in PowerPoint. I don't know if there's other methods. I'm not a professional, but that's what I what I've learned in the past few few months. But uh, here in picture, you can also you know select here, and now you can change more the picture. But it's nice that you can even here if you click on crop you can click on sorry not there but anyways no thought of doing something different but uh yeah you can like change the this back to a shape but yeah that's just some shapes that you already have in you already have in powerpoint you know if you want to create one, make sure you use the strategy that I showed you. You can also here edit points, by the way. So you can still um, create here something, a shape that you want. Say you want to see more from the eye here or something like that. You can edit this. Edit the points here. Move exactly something like this.